Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Coverage denied. How many times have you heard that from your insurance company? A Westport woman wasn't about to take no for an answer after her insurance company refused to pay for prescription food. She says she needed to stay alive. So she turned to problem solver Susan Hogan for help. Susan joins us now live with her story. That's right, we have all been there when our insurance company denies coverage for something we need. It's not only frustrating, but it can be downright scary. For this Westport woman, she says it was a matter of life and death. This is a thousand mils. These cans of liquid food are all Judy Michaud is living on. After battling cancer for months, she's on a feeding tube and she says she lives solely on this liquid diet to survive. This is not a supplemental drink. This isn't, I can't go to and pick up a six pack of Insura. This is, this is my food. This is my survival. Judy says she needs six cans a day and at $50 a case, she can't afford it and was hoping her insurance company would cover the cost. But she says United Healthcare denied her coverage. And in this letter she showed us, the insurer considers liquid prescription food, nutrition. The oncologist, to my radiologist, they wrote letters of medical necessity. They still said, nope, we're not paying for it. Without enough money to pay for six cans a day, Judy says she was forced to give herself less, sometimes a lot less. Sometimes I was doing one can a day. I couldn't afford it. Down to under 100 pounds and feeling helpless, Judy called 12 for action. I saw your commercial on TV, and I kept on saying, I'm going to call, I'm going to call, I'm going to call. And one day I said, I'm calling. <laughs> And I did. <laughs> Call 12 for Action reached out to United Healthcare, and because of privacy laws, they couldn't speak specifically about Judy's case, but they promised to look into it. Well, they did, because a short time later, Judy got a call from the insurance company, and they made an exception. They called and said, oh, we're going to pay. Well, now they're going to pay for the food. And even though Judy would much prefer a real meal, for now, she's just happy that this is one big hurdle she no longer has to fight. Problem solved. Now, United Healthcare confirmed with us that they did resolve this case. Call 12 for Action did ask them if they could elaborate as to what changed their mind, and we were told they had nothing more to add. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.